Hi everybody, so nice to meet you again on our video, as I told you one month ago. Um, I'd like to spend some time with you to, uh, to explain everything we did during the last month, and especially regarding this event. Remember, Dan New York 2018, a great event. First of all, thanks for the organization of Dan team. Great organization as usual, uh, more than 800 people, two days, Dan event, creative operations, more than 40 vendors, so this is definitely the place to be if you want to tackle your projects, you want to meet the experts in, our, in the dam industry. And as usual, this is, as I said, it's a, it's a family first store, always a great enjoyment to find the best experts to share, uh, to talk, uh, to learn, to teach. So this event is definitely uh, the best. And as you know also, we are just two weeks away from the dam Europe, so that's the reason why it was important for me to also share some information. I was uh, I gathered from the Dine New York. Dine New York changed a little bit, uh, different types of things. First of all, two new sessions, Ninja, Dime Ninja and Dime Clinic, so new roundtables. Dime Ninja in order to talk to our Dime experts, so with technical sessions, uh, so very interesting sessions. As usual, Dime New York started with a great uh, keynote from Teresa and a great introduction from David Lipse. And uh, as you know, David Lipse, uh, was part of your, our DAM uh, our DAM user event in the US. So we started to work, to work uh, this, uh, this year together. So David has fantastic experience and uh, the introduction was, was great. Uh, Teresa was talking more about uh, migration. So a nice talk, uh, nice keynote. So that's always a great pleasure to, uh, uh, to listen to her, to get her experience. Um, during Dan New York, we also had the, the Bake Off. So the Bake Off uh, uh, changed a little bit this year. In, in all, instead of displaying some lists of unique selling points of feature based on the 10 core Dan features, the idea this year and driven by Jared from a real story group this was to more or less to make a scenario uh, based on the workflow with, between a photographer and agency. So all my colleagues from Bar made a great job. Uh, the winner was Photoware, um, so they did well. So, but at the end of the day, as I'm, I'm, I'm saying, um, whatever you are a winner are or not a winner, uh, the most important is to be able for the vendors, and I'm talking to your vendors, that you have to be on the stage to, uh, to show uh, your products to the customers. So that's the very way, best way. And thanks to uh, the, the Bake Up, for example, on that side, so, uh, we had some good leads, and so uh, great job, and thank you so much for that. As usual, so a couple of talks uh, uh, during these two events in New York. So I did one with uh, during the creative operation where Dalim was uh, one of the sponsor, and so I had some great talk with the uh, head of agencies in the US. And we are definitely not talking about products, but just about the experience. And as you know, I spent more than twenty years in agencies, so. For me, this is definitely the best way. This is my, in my in, in my mind, my body tour uh, to share with these guys. To just talking about the the experience they have with them and how them is critical today. Um, so on the other side, we also have some couple of trends uh, today. So uh, very sorry group uh, at one session with Jared explaining the main trends. I will say always, of course, what's changed this year. Uh, I will say for 2018 a couple of items. Uh, perhaps one of the most well known is the uh, machine learning. So everybody is talking about automatic training, whatever pictures, video. It's true that's uh, that's a nice help, and especially um, if you want to manage a very advanced image workflows. But I will say that today machine learning and AI is uh, it's not only that, and I do believe that in the near future. Uh, AI will be able not only to add metadata in your files, but also to drive you uh, to get the right process to, because we are talking about workflows. And that was also the item for me this year. Uh, you have so many solutions in the markets, from open source solution to one million solutions. So first of all, I say, not sure you have to spend half a billion to get a DAM, so it doesn't really make sense for me today. You just have to get the right hand, and the right hand. Um, in fact, you have also to to get a couple of very important items. First of all, today you have to know that all the dams are able to 
a search and retrieve your, you retrieve your assets based on the metadata, of course. Uh, and I did that 20 years ago, so nothing has really changed. Uh, we're talking about IPTC, XMP, 15 years ago, so nothing has changed. Just perhaps change one, check one thing, that your DAM solution is able to save information into your files. It, it, it can be helpful in the future, if you need to, to change your DAM solution, you don't have to pay the vendor to, uh, to convert that. So, uh, but the, the most important for, uh, in terms of feature for me is really the uh, workflows. And you don't have so many workflows in this industry. Uh, of course, uh, with Dalim software, and yes, we have a strong run. Uh, the competition is not so, of course, you have different types of workflows because as soon as you're starting something like, uh, I would say, a task, uh, a task between adding some people with email, some vendors said, we have a workflow. It's not really a workflow. A, a real workflow is something where you can easily map your business workflow. This is what does it mean? This is where are you are working and not just simply select a file and click on a, on a metadata, uh, approve or not approve. This is not a workflow. And that's something we were able to, uh, to demonstrate, I think, during the, uh, the bake off. Um, the other thing is also uh, links about to your KPIs for me. Uh, because just, of course, uh, 20 years ago, I already have some analytics, but now we need to get some really more advanced analytics. So you have so many ways to figure out. You, of course, most of them today are using uh, based on Elasticsearch Kivala. So Kivala is a, is a nice entry level of solution, but uh, that sometimes sometimes it's a little bit painful to set up, and it's just about analytics. And today, brands, what are they searching for? They are searching where to. Uh, to they are searching a BI uh, tool set. So it means. Uh, the ability to show analytics where you can make some links between the logs, between the metadata and those. That's something also we are doing uh, with VS. We also have a, uh, a, a connection to size sensors, for example, which is one of the leaders in the market today. A very great experience, very nice UI. So that's really, that's I would say that's a piece of cake in terms of setup and great user experience. And so yes, is really able to figure out all that uh, uh, analytics and BI. So I was talking about, so of course, metadata, machine learning, so workflows, uh, BI. I think it's also important to talk about the distribution. So because today, most of the time, the port of a brand is uh, most of the time a CMS. So it can be WordPress, it can be uh, a more advanced uh, CMS, just like Jaya, where, uh, with which we are integrated. You can get some EZ publish. Uh, solution so a couple of content uh, management system so it was really feeling really great two days uh, in New York and now we are just approaching the dam Europe uh, in the meantime so uh, just before the dam Europe so I think I wanted to also to talk about the how to finally to make uh, the decision for a dam solution and if you are looking at the agenda of dam Europe that you can find on the website of the Henri Stewart event, okay? And you can find the address in my, in my article. So we'll see here as for example, a couple of different items and how I can select that. And it's true today, uh, I remember just 10 years ago, you don't have so many vendors. So of course the decision uh, was easier. Um, if you're part of a large organization, most of the time what people are doing, they don't want to be fired. So most of the time they will make a decision for the release of a Gartner or Forrester. So I will not say that these guys are not good, but most of the time it's very uh, complex and they're very expensive solutions. That's the reason why since last year, um, by them software and myself trying to work even more with Mark Dave and here Mark Dave has a company, the equity company, providing help to customers how to select them. And so you can find, so now a very nice uh, website, you can, and instead of spending a lot of money to our consultants, just try this, uh, uh, this survey and analytics. Very great job from Mac. And instead of just comparing uh, damn solutions with features, he made the decision, and that's the right decision, to your use case scenario. Because this is the way people are working today. So what does it mean? If you are working in the packaging, and you know that packaging is a very important, uh, I would say, uh, 
uh, market for uh, for the people because you have so many fashions, so uh, many uh, assets to uh, to support that. So that's the reason why that in fact packaging needs a, a strong dam solution. Um, so we have the packaging scenario, we have the brand uh, scenario, we have also the uh, the brand engagement uh, management scenario. So and really spend the time uh, to see exactly here finally uh, to a nice way to compare dam solutions and you can see also something you can see here that uh, by the software we're, we're in very good position so we get the 10 cost certifications uh, last year and uh, this year the beyond the core and now we are on a good position in the top 10 in the top 10 dam solution for uh, uh, for the different scenarios uh, spend the time and also based on that and also based on my experience okay because uh, of course I believe my experience I was a dam manager in the last 25 years I'm managing my own library of assets 1.5 million assets do I do you have 1.5 million assets so um, I try also to redesign and to publish the, the map of the dam vendors in 2018 that you can see here and so that's uh, it's very close to what re can do, but I wanted just to update a couple of things. Uh, next next point is next week we get a webinar. So we're, I'm doing a webinar with, uh, uh, about dam and bronze. So very important in order to engage even more customers, spend the time to see the webinar. So I, with two main consultants in the US, and especially John and Bucket from uh, two different types of company. And so you will, really, really follow here this webinar get uh, some very interesting items uh, how finally a retailers a brands how we can then fit a solution for for such people and before leaving you I'd like also to uh, please to take the time uh, as we did a couple of uh, um, of white papers so since last and the line year of last year you can find the home page of the white on the on the website so this white paper about the dam, so 32 pages, and I'm just starting about everything. What is the metadata? What's it, what are the challenges, etc. We, we did also one for packaging, so packaging and marketing uh, all together. Finally, I did with this one with my friend Christian Blaise. Uh, alongside that, uh, we also have a nice brochure uh, talking about the dam. So uh, this one is a really nice one because you can really understand. Uh, how funny we are successful, as for example, by Photo Studio. This is the workflow I'm talking about. This is data to control your files. So, um, and all that marketing material, you can find them, of course, you know, during Dime Europe. Uh, and of course, alongside, you also have our magazine. So, you see the name, Brown, okay? So, what we are talking, and in this magazine that you can find on our website, on our dining application, on the mobile, so you can find an article I did also with Mark Dave talking about the dam challenges and we're also talking especially about here all what is important for you in terms of UI, about metadata, about workflows. Well, I'm also talking about the 10 core specification and all the job that has been done with Mike. So really take the time, great, great reading and it was the time for, for you. So, so very important, so I will be here on the Dam Europe with the dining team, so to uh, really available for to talk or to you, to, uh, to your projects. And so this is more or less uh, a clear representation of the booth, so it's a dam with some base keywords, dam workflows, and of course yes at the top to be successful for your transform, uh, transformation, uh, digital transformation. So. Uh, thank, thank you for these minutes of video, so, and don't forget to like, to share, and so, of course I will do a recap video as usual uh, after time we up just before some vacation for you. Thank you so much, have a great day.